I'm going to do a basic setup on a Mueller Martini Presto saddle stitcher. This is going to be a very basic setup for the computer touchpad. When you first turn this stitcher on and it boots up, this is what you will see. This is the main screen of the saddle stitcher. The F1 indicates how many books it takes before it will reject and stop the machine. The A and B is for your run and your jog. Your P is to put you into the next page to be able to access your pump, your trash disposal if you have that, your stitch heads, and your conveyor. The icon here, the bookmark, will get you back to the home page. To set up the, the computer, you will hit this icon here and this will get you to your production screen. And this is where you're going to do all your setup. Hit production, your gathering chain. This, this determines the spine length. So you want to measure that. And in this case, for an example, it's 240 millimeters. You would open this up by hitting it and a little calculator will pop up. Type in your dimensions. In this case, it's 240 millimeters, and you would hit the check mark is enter. And you're going to want to start your machine and just let the chain run. When it stops, you're going to want to come down to your tucker blade area and open your door. And what you're going to want to do is get the front of this pin to the edge of this white piece of plastic here and that will time the chain to the dimension size of the book. You would loosen it here and then roll it always forward never backwards. Close your door. Your next step is going to be to calibrate the book. Again, start your machine. And you put two books of whatever it's going to be. In this case, it's two forms. And all you have to do is loosen this. And then you would move your little knob up, back down, and tighten. Come back to your touch screen and go to the next one. It'll say 2B calibration reference measurement and this is going to measure what you just calibrated and lock it in. If it is correct it, it will say calibration complete. And you can see that calibration complete came up. Number three is your clincher adjustment. This is done in this position and you would loosen these down here and then just turn your knob up or down depending on the thickness of your book. You can see your stitch heads are down and now this is where you would make your adjustments down here for the thickness. Your fourth step is for your format adjustment which is for your head and foot trim. When you're in this in this section the machine will automatically come down to its lowest point. And what you're going to see is your block and your knife are meeting at its lowest point. This is where you're going to want to make your adjustments. So you loosen these two nuts up here and then you would loosen this down here 
and then you would make your adjustments according to whatever the spine size of the book is, your head and foot. In this case, it's eight inches. Your next step will be your book thickness stops. That's for when the book goes into the trimmer. That is to adjust your clamps to the thickness of your book. Your last step is going to be your centering lever clamps. Again, when you're in this position of the screen, when you start the machine, it'll automatically go to the right position. And, in, and now you can have your product, your book, whatever your, your size is, you're going to go ahead and it's going to stop right right at this bearing area and the cam lobe. It's going to stop right where you want it. Now at this point you will have your book inside and you will move these accordingly to where they just touch the book. Once you have all that, you're going to go ahead and get your face trim size. In this case it's five and a half. And then you would just set this for your backstops to be at five and a half. And once you're at that point, you would open up your door and you would set the timing of the trimmer by your yoke here. You would just loosen this nut and turn this either direction to get to the same millimeter size that you have here as you do up here in your uh, face trim. In this case it's 140 millimeters and then you would just lock that down and the machine should basically be ready to run with adjustments needed on the on the fly as you're running. You would go ahead and play with your pressure here so that the book would not bounce and come out square Again, this is just a very basic setup um, in case there's someone out there that may be having problems. I know someone uh, asked me to make a video about how to set this uh, computer touch screen up. So hopefully um, this will help him or anyone else out there that's um, having any problems with the Mueller Martini Presto. Again, that's a basic setup and uh, good luck. Take care.